Hi girlies, it's Jonah82 and I'm here with um, some makeup uh, hauls. Um, I had to relocate. No, I didn't have to. I decided to relocate, sorry, my makeup area. I moved it from the outside of my room into the inside of my closet. Um, because I feel like my makeup area was consuming my whole, uh, I'm sorry y'all. Don't look at my fat. I'm trying to, oh, I thought I repurchased the palette. I was like, you know how, like, if you got a massive makeup uh, collection, you can kind of, you could relate. You know how you can just see something over and over again. You like, you get to the point like, do I have that? Or I've just been contemplating on buying it. But I found a good find today. And I might show y'all if I have, if not in this video really soon but anyway i had to move it from my corner to my closet and i thought that i could just duplicate what i did on the outside of my room to my closet and my closet was like you tried it no um so i'm trying not to buy anything else only because i got so many things that's coming up uh Halloween, which I don't celebrate, but it's my cousin's birthday, and she's like a sister to me, so we did a dinner, I bought her something, you know, a gift, um, uh, so that was that, um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is coming up, I'm not going to indulge, but I know it's going to be deals that I know I can't, like, too good to pass up, um, then Thanksgiving, then my youngest son's birthday in December, early December and then Christmas at the end um and the beginning like the middle of January is my daughter's and my mother's birthday they're like about a week or so apart and then beginning of February is my grandmother's birthday so I have a lot like holidays birthdays and bills in between all of that so I don't have money to really put into um more storage and stuff right now and i just put a lump sum of money in um buying stuff for my previous setup and i'm trying to just use what i have yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to use what i have anyway um i think i'm just i just saw somebody video and i'm like that would have been a cheaper alternative and it would have worked so much better for this setup so i'm trying to get that out of my mind because i will just like and be like, that's it. I'm just going to buy it. But I'm trying my best not to do that. Anyway, so I'm going to just come to y'all with a lot of little ratchet videos, I'm going to call it. Because I have stuff like this, like piles of stuff. I have a ton of new items. And, like, some of the items I bought with the intention of uh, possibly returning. But we're past that threshold because it's been over 30 days, which is the typical return um, policy. So yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna just start grabbing some stuff. So it's gonna be um, a few ratchet videos until I get my setup together. But this is kind of prolonging the process. I think I've been at it for about a week, which is not bad. Um, I got it to the place where I could do my makeup, but it's not. It's not where it need to be right now. So that's what we're gonna start with. Okay, I think I'm gonna do. I'm going to do ColourPop. Okay, so uh, one of the items is the Hocus Pocus palette. And it was a whole mess with this launch. Um, ColourPop dropped a ball and basically was like telling people, oh, you'll have another chance to get it with Ulta. What? So no plans to restocking um, to my knowledge. Unless they've changed something, that's it. So this is the palette. You can find it... Um, between like 40 and like $60 on uh, Macari. Um, not many people do free shipping, but you know, and this is with the palette. I had to get this because this is um, my favorite movie. I'm looking like that looks swatched. Who don't do that? That's color right. What is that? Hello, Salem. That color look a little swatch. But I'm going to just have to disinfect and keep on moving because, um, yeah. And I feel like I can't contact customer service about it because I've had it for, um, a few weeks now. But I got that. Um, I also, I didn't want to do ColourPop because I actually have 
five more palettes on the way. The new Stone Cold palette, is that what it's called? It's the larger palette. And another release, I forgot what it is. It's like a longer palette. Girl, I don't even know, girl. I just be buying it. And then the three new palettes that was uh, I was originally told was an Ulta exclusive. But I bought the bundle from ColourPop. I think I got tracking for both, I think. So that's one. And then I have a this coral palette i don't know where i put it but it's gonna uh be in the next little hole so thank y'all for hanging in, in there with me and like I, I hold up but why why is this box taped up like it was retaped but it was open and I could have seen I put like other pilots inside of here. I did. Okay, so I'm like, what the hell? Sorry. Um, okay, so one of the pilots that I missed out on, but I ended up getting from um Macari for more than retail. But I don't know. Colourpop, please get y'all act together. Y'all just started getting y'all act right back together for shipping. Because I mean Colourpop. And you can ask Bestie. I'm um, simply not. Here. You could order on Friday, Monday. Your order was there. They was on some Beautylish type shipping. I live in DC. Beautylish is in California. Just regular shipping for them is one or two days. Like, why can't people follow suit with that? I don't know what they doing, but y'all need to copy and paste that for real. Um. So. They just started getting their act right together. Now it's like, can you do a restock? Because it's like, y'all good for coming out with the collections every other day, but the restock, and then you want to throw a sale, a site-wide sale or a pilot sale on all pilots, and you got like two pilots in stock that people been had. So can we get that together, ColourPop? So um, Bestie was like, oh, you ain't get the, that's taupe? And I'm like, bruh. And it was a sale. This was in my cart and two other pilots I mentioned. As soon as I went to go to the sale, this was gone. But they had like the bundle. And it was like $24 for this and two um, lip glosses or something. I'm trying to stray away from lip products but only because we're wearing masks. So who am I wearing lip gloss for? Tell me, sis, because I don't know. So I'm trying. It's like... You know, I, I can show the eyes. I can even do a little highlight. But who I'm doing the lips for? I don't know. So, right now, if it's not like a lip treatment, lip mask, lip balm, I'm trying my best not to buy now. I said trying because I just placed the Ulta order and I got some lip glosses from Milani. Because they were offering a free palette that I've been looking for. So, that's why. Call it what you want. Um... I did use it today, and it's nice. So that's the best tote palette. So I think this retails for fourteen or sixteen dollars because they kind of fluctuate. I think it's sixteen if it's like a collab or some type of something like that. Um, but I think this was fourteen dollars, and I think I paid like twenty four. So plus shipping. So I paid. I'm going to say around like $25, $26 shipping. So, not too... I mean, I don't mind doing that if it's not much of a difference between me buying it from ColourPop and pan shipping. But I I try to do $30 with uh, ColourPop because I don't like pan shipping with nobody. So, this next one is Little Ray of Sunshine. Which I probably won't get too much use to this one because today was cold. And I, I wasn't here for it at all. But I like that this is an all matte palette. I can still use this because... Actually, I can because it's not a yellow yellow. It's like that mustard fall yellow. Yeah, so yeah. It's not that bright, sunny, summertime yellow. So I've actually been seeing a lot of... um. My color scheme for my life is black, white, gray. That's pretty much all I wear. Um... But I'm looking at the fall stuff. I'm looking at maroons. I'm looking at like burnt oranges and um, mustard yellow. So this would go perfect with that. 
Sorry if my lighting is not perfect. I don't have outlets in my closet and I haven't set up my normal lights. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, y'all. So I'm still trying to figure all of that out. Um, got the Wild Nothing palette. And I know y'all seen these before. And I'm seeing some of them really for the first time. This is nice. I like that. This is a nice, like, kind of fallish palette. Okay, next is the Garden Variety palette. And I could have got this in store. Because you never know with, like, Julius Plays, Revolution, and ColourPop. You never know which collection is going to hit. And that is so annoying to me. Even when they like promoting it, they don't even state. And I would, like I said in previous videos, I would prefer to get it through Ulta because of the return policy. But most of all, the rewards program. I only say return because if it comes broken, ColourPop has... I'm going to just put it plain and simple. Their, cu their customer service from when they start until now is some shit. That's just what it is. Oops, drop that. And that's what that looks like. And then I got this trio set. Comes with the sleeve like this. I think just I think all of these are still on. It might be sold out, but I don't think they like discontinued or anything. And they came like this. This is the first time I got like a set like this. Because I buy everything individually. I usually don't have time to wait for the set. And this one is that hard plastic. I thought they moved away from that. Like all the way. But apparently not. This is a plus when they do that. They should do that with all their pops. Because when I say uh, color pop in the beginning. Especially with the super shock shadows and stuff. Because that stuff is fragile. When I say they used to wrap and package that. Like it was going to war or something. Now, you get something like this in a bubble mailer. What? Like, and then if you call, like, oh, it's broke, I'm going to give you a credit. No, And so, I'm going to rebuy it, and the same thing has happened to people. They repeatedly purchased, and they just gave up. That's why I'm, why I was saying that uh, customer service is some trash. This one is, girl, I can't even see this. Aurora and Out. That's... Honestly, I don't even think this is something that I will really, like, wear a lot of. This is definitely a summertime type vibe. So, next year. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Oh, it spies out. Okay. This one is in a trance. And this is what it looks like. And then this one is Miss Bliss. And that's what it looks like. My color, color pop boy. Yeah, it's a lot. This is an, a collection I wish I would have got from Ulta. And this is the Candy Color Pop Land collection. It's like the Candy Land collection. This was a big seller. I think this was the biggest seller for this brand. I mean, for this collection. I feel like because Rollerball is still something um, new to this. Uh, to ColourPop. They've done it in a in a discontinued collection um, that they had to pull due to I don't know. It was something with the packaging or something like that. And like with that collection, I've seen this rollerball sold for $60. I don't know if it's because of the collection or the simple fact that ColourPop doesn't well, now they have a collection of these now, but before this was like, I think this was like the second rollerball they did. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but even in store with Ulta, I think like the display was a nice size display. I don't know what those type of displays if they replenish, but I was in a few stores. I probably seen like one or two of these combined. Like this was gone. The only thing that was really left was the palette, surprisingly, and um, a lot of the blushes were left. So this is the palette. I will say. I was disappointed when I saw this. I thought this was going to be the size of like um, a Lorac palette. Let me grab one so I can kind of. Mess around and drop something. Like I thought it was going to be like the size of these. And just to show you. Y'all probably seen this by now in store. Because they in the clearance section now. You can see the difference. It just looks so much bigger in person. And that's how I felt, I felt about the nine pans when those first came in the store. So, I this is... Correct me if I'm wrong with this, too. I think this is still on Ulta and it's on sale. So, that's what that looks like. The Candy Castle palette. So, if you can still get it online, get it and... Add something else to it and use that three dollar and fifty cent coupon on it, cause I think Ulta um is kind of funny. I'm learning some things along the way about them. This is on sale online, but I think even if you buy this in another non prestige item, you can use the coupon, the three three fifty off. But in store they say it doesn't apply to sale to sale or clearance items, but. It, it's different. It's the opposite online. This is the it's it's all good palette, and the the one of the palettes I'm waiting for is the a big one like this one, the stone this stone fox something stone cold fox something I don't know. It's a cool tone neutral palette. And I've been wanting these for a while, and it's like I didn't want to keep waiting because I didn't want it to be discontinued. Now, for the most part, um, ColourPop um, has like a get it before it's gone situation on their um, website. But then you have companies like, it was a palette that somebody was asking about. I saw numerous people asking about on Juvia's Place, and it was like, oh... You can try Ulta, but we're we're not making that palette anymore. Y'all don't even announce because some people, it might not be in their budget or they feel like they got time to get it. So I just think it's just good business to just tell people like, hey, get it before it's gone. Um, the Bare Necessity palette. I didn't get all this stuff at the same time. This is um, probably since about May or June. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, my life has been in disarray for at least the past six months. And that's that. So, my the first color pop order with the two palettes, I think I should be getting that, like, tomorrow. I got a Juvia's Place palette down in my mailbox as we speak. <laughs> so, that's my color pop, um part one and i will be doing my part two soon i'm gonna wait until both of my orders come and yeah i'll catch you girlies in the next video bye